Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is called a flat felled seam. This is the seam that's typically on hardworking garments, i.e. jeans, um, any fabric that has an edge that is going to unravel. You want to have some kind of treatment to your seam allowances. This is one of my favorite ones to do because it looks really sharp and it's actually really easy to do. So this is the wrong side of my fabric and this is the right side of my fabric. So on the outside you would have this beautiful stitching. So in order to do that we want to have our J foot on, straight stitch, And I have these, this piece here ready to go. So this is the right side of my fabric. I have sewn a 5 8 seam allowance on the right side. So I've actually put the two wrong sides together. And I've sewn a 5 8 seam allowance. And I've actually just pressed that to one side. So what we're going to do is that we're going to trim this seam here, this seam allowance here, and then we will wrap this one around the cut one and stitch down. So let's go ahead, and I like to trim my seam allowance to about a quarter of an inch. Don't make it too small. Now if you're a quilter you can probably eyeball a quarter of an inch. You could use your rotary cutter to do this. Okay, so you see there's my quarter inch raw edge and this is my 5 8 So what I want to do is I'm just going to finger press this down. So I'm wrapping that quarter inch with the 5 8 and I'm just giving it a quick finger press. Now, my two right sides. Now I'm just going to lay this down here. Make sure everything is nice and flat. Let's do it, the, let's do it at this top here. Okay. So again, so here's my quarter inch, and here's my 5 eighths wrapped around the quarter inch. And then I'm gonna lay it to one side so if you're making anything that's going to have a lot of washing to it, uh, any type of stress, you want to encase your seams. And doing a flat felled seam is a beautiful way, a professional way of finishing your raw edges. It provides strength to that seam because you end up sewing it twice. That's why you have it on jeans. So now I'm going to stitch straight down here. So I'm going to put on my lasers. <clears throat> so what I want to do is, you'll see that my one line is right in the middle where my needle is. Now this line is way over here. So let's move the far right hand one over. So you can see I'm moving that edge. And let's get that right there. Now I'm going to do the red one. And I'm moving my stitching line over. So let's go right here. So you'll see that the red line is my stitching line, and this is the edge line. So if I keep my line right on this fold here, my stitching should be straight. Let's take my pin out. So you can see that I have the edge right here, the green. And I have a straight stitch on, so let's just go. Now I'm watching right here. 
Now, of course, there's all kinds of feet that would actually help you do this, but I think with the two laser lights, it is just extra cool doing it this way. So let's take our pin out. And to do a flat felled seam, you don't need any extra attachment. It's just sew the wrong sides together, trim the one right side seam allowance, wrap it, and stitch. And off you go. Well, there we go. Look at that. Nice and straight. I could have used these 40 years ago, I'll tell you. Excellent. And that's the flat felt seam.